Welcome to another Spotlight Photographics webinar tutorial video series. Today we're to be talking about the Banner PSD template. The Equalizer template is located on the Game Day Banners Volume 2 and is available on our website at spotlightphotographics.com. And let's get started. When you open up the template, you'll notice that it already comes with a sample image already on it. This way you can print samples and show them to your customers before you get the, the photos that is necessary to make their product. Uh, to get started here you'll notice that all of the layers on the right uh, are labeled. You can see everything on here that you can change. Uh, all of our templates are multi-layer templates meaning that nothing is ever flattened so that you can actually use them the way that you want. And also the sample image is also on here so that you know exactly where to put your image. We're going to be using a football player to do this uh, change and he's also going to be in a blue uniform so we'll be changing the colors of the template in this tutorial as well. To get started we're going to just turn off our existing player that's on here right now and we're going to drag in the already extracted football player. Now we have an extraction service on our website which is what we used to do this file. It's a two dollar per in individual charge. It's also three dollars for an entire group. And when we drag these in, uh, they come as in PNG files, so they're very easy to use in a drag and drop. So right now what we're going to do is just use the transform now that we've drug it in. And we'll just transform this up to fill up the area of the banner we want him to be. And we'll go ahead and apply that. Now you can see that there was a shadow that was made uh, for the softball player. We're just going ahead and get rid of this shadow as well. And now that we have him in space, we are going to go ahead and rasterize this image. In Photoshop 5 and above, when you drag images into the template from outside of Photoshop, you will have uh, them come in as smart objects, and you'll see the little icon over here, and that's what that means. So what we're going to do is have to rasterize this so that we can edit the photo. Uh, to do that, we're just going to right-click and say Rasterize Layer. And now he's able to be edited. We can erase him. We can change his lightness and darkness if we want to do any photo editing. Uh, what I like to use uh, in to do this is Topaz. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a uh, tip on this, Topaz Labs has a Topaz Adjust. And I'm using Topaz Adjust 4 here. And it has just different types of features that you can do to automatically change the look of the player to maybe do something really cool like give it some kind of this drama effect that's really popular right now. Uh, they've got one that I like particularly called Spicy. Uh, I usually use that and then come over and lower the saturation down just a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Uh, you don't have to use these to make the banners. I just always like to give them a little free plug if we have to, if we can do that. So you can see how much more dynamic that looks. I'll give you a shot of what it looked like before. Kind of flat and now it has this really cool texture to it. So to add the shadow what we're going to do is actually duplicate this layer. You can right click and say duplicate layer or you can simply say uh, control J. And we're just going to take the bottom of the two layers and we're going to do a free transform which is control T and then we'll right click and say flip vertical. That's going to give us two, so we're just going to drag this one down that's in the back and just match it up with his feet, just like this. And because his other foot is way back here, we'll actually have to do two layers. But first, before we do two of these duplicates, I'm just going to bring the opacity down, just like this. And now we have a nice reflective shadow. Now at this point, I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time and I'm now going to drag his other foot up to match. Now you can see that we have this duplicate over here. It doesn't look as nice. So at this point we're just going to take the eraser, just erase that piece of stuff right there. And then on the other layer we're just going to do the same thing and just drag across the bottom and kind of shadow that up a little bit. So now, now we have the reflection. I'll give you a little up close look at that. There you go. And we can actually drag this one down a little bit. There we go. So now he's got the reflection on the floor. 
and it's time to change all the colors. Now in the equalizer template there's one layer that you have to deal with to change the entire color of this entire area here and it is all the way down at the bottom called background color or BKG color. At this point you just see a color overlay, you double click on it, it's going to bring up your layer style palette and then we are just going to click on the color here and we're just going to select a blue. Now if you have the color uh, of their team already uh, or you can click on the jersey and pick the colors this way you see I picked black there and you can also drag it around if you have the color code you can enter it here uh, but at this point I'm pretty happy with that right there maybe a little darker that's good alright so we're gonna say OK and back out all the way there and now all we have to worry about are these two pieces here we have the lines these squiggly lines right here. You can turn them on and off. Um, and I'm actually going to change the color of these. And right now they are automatically red. I don't have a color change option on these. Um, what we can do is desaturate them. I think in this purpose I'm going to really like that, the white. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the front one. The front lines right there. We'll just desaturate those lines, give it a nice gray look. Seeing that he's blue and white, those work really well. And then this front light beam, you'll see that we have an adjustment layer. And so the same feature that you'll see on the uh, color overlay, we're just going to click on that color adjustment. And then we're just going to take this slider bar and drag this until we see the blue that we like as well. So now we're blue here. And now everything else is just a text field. All you have to do is select your text icon and just highlight like you would any kind of text. And we're going to change this guy's name to James. And as you can see, it automatically changes with that style. Same as the last name. And we're going to call David. James David. Now you can see it doesn't fill up all the way. If you have a name that's too long or if you have a name that's too short, once you apply it, all we're going to do is do a control T, just like we did to size the player. And we're just going to hold down Shift and Alt and drag away. And it's going to drag that out. And now he's all good there. Same with the 6. We're going to change that to be a 4. And with him, being that he has two digits, we're going to also change the shadow. You'll see you have two different layers. And now all we have to do is just select those two layers, the four right here and the four up here, and just drag a copy. We'll drag that copy down here too. And now we have a four. Now we have a 44. And you can actually tuck one in front of him if you want, you could actually take him and bring him up forward and tuck him both behind. So as you can see, very quickly we've changed this over to be a matching template for him. And we're ready to go to the printer. At this point we'll just save as a JPEG, send it to your uh, graphics company that does your printing, and you're ready to go. Again, this is the Equalizer template on Game Day Banners Volume 2. If you have any further questions, you can always reach us on our website by clicking the Contact button at SpotlightPhotographics.com. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar tutorial video.